County. The difference in net reps in Washington County is it's funded by public and private. Networks, I'm sorry, networks is funded totally by the government. So there's some work to do there, and there's value. Thank you, Mr. Venable. And Mr. Venable has used up all four of his rebuttals. Uh, I want to make sure that all of you realize that I'm about to say rebuttal time is over. So is there anything you want to comment on that's specific to the questions we've talked about before we move into your closing statements? I want to make sure it's super fair to everybody. You don't have to say yes. I just wanted to make sure. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Word. You have, by the way, I, I want to make sure I'm clear on this, but don't let me interrupt you. I think you have all four rebuttals left, so that's, I'm really bad at math. That's uh, two minutes. That's two minutes. Okay. Thank you. I, don't make me take my shoes off, so that's two, two minutes if you need rebuttal time. For any of the, but let's keep it to the questions if we could. Uh, with the question that you had just asked about the hub and stuff, um, we would have liked to know this as the county commission, and none of the county commissioners knows anything about this regionalism. And I don't think it's fair as a mayor to be having all of these meetings for the last three years and not sharing the information with the county commission. Um, that's one thing that I will always do is be transparent and share the information with the county commission. Any other rebuttal time before we move to closing statements? Can I buy some more? No. <laughs> you have a closing statement for a minute 30 that you can use however you wish. Uh, and if you want to comment, that's fine. Uh, but we are going to start with you, Mr. George. And we are now going to draw. We're going to draw. That's yes. right. That's right. This is uh, the next phase, the final phase, in which we will have closing statements. We'll draw names. First is Bobby Weaver. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Sorry. You get to go first. You're done first. And you have a minute and a half for closing statements. I'd just like to thank everybody for the opportunity to be here tonight. This is my first time ever doing anything like this, so I am not a public speaker, as y'all can tell. And I've been a nervous wreck all day about it. So uh, i just like to thank, to get my feet wet, more or less. Just thank the chamber for uh, the opportunity to come out tonight. Who's next? Angie Stanley. One and a half minutes by way of closing statements. I'd like to say thank you, Tosh, for hosting this, and the chamber, and Russ, of course, for being here and for giving us the opportunity to make our case here while we are running for Sullivan County Mayor. Um, I love Sullivan County, and like I said before, this is where I raised our family, where I was born and raised at. My business is here, and I want to restore that trust back with the county government, with our city leaders and our school systems, but most importantly, with the citizens of Sullivan County, the taxpayers deserve that, uh, to be open and transparent about the business that's been conducted. And if you want your next mayor to be that open and transparent person that will serve the people here in Sullivan County, then I humbly ask for your vote. Thank you, Ms. Stanley, who's next? Richard Venable. Thank you. Uh, Four and a half minutes. Nine and a half? Yes. Okay, no rebuttal. <laughs> Again, thank you for the Chamber for hosting this uh, this event. I would like to, to comment on what uh, Commissioner Stanley has said. We had uh, numerous mass meetings, and there were county commissioners at those meetings. That was pre-COVID. There were no meetings during COVID, but we had meetings in, in every Tri-Cities, Greenville and county commissioners were involved. Uh, we offered that involvement to them. If they wanted to show up, they could. Some of them did, some of them didn't. But the fact is we tried to involve the whole community. Uh, last year, the county commission passed a resolution asking for a, a report and a, uh, a summit. There was nothing to report. What, what we were working toward for one year was happened yesterday. That was to get the basic structure of a regional organization announced and 
then we need to go to every county commission, every city council, every board of mayor and aldermen, and talk with people because now we have something to explain. Now they know who the leadership is. So transparency, you gotta be open to it if you want it. And it's there if you want it. So again, I would uh, offer and suggest that uh, we have another one of these for people who are on the ballot in, on May 3rd. Uh, our independent candidates go straight to the ballot in August, uh, so I will volunteer for to have another one of these, and let's have a spirited discussion on the issues, and um, you don't need to give me the questions, I'll be prepared to answer. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fimble. And you're finally the last one. You have closing statements, a minute and a half. Okay, thank you so much for having us, and thank you all for being here. Uh, in closing, I just want to say my name is Val George. I'm a lifelong resident of Sullivan County. Um, you know, I want to run for mayor. It would be an honor and a privilege to serve as your mayor. Um, you know, I want to help this area grow. You know, we need to work on our workforce development to truly make this area uh, as good as it can be for our citizens. You know, we talk about the schools and everything, and one thing that we've had going forward and been progressing on and doing a fantastic job is our trade schools. You know, we have a company like Eastman who needs workers. You know, we can provide what they need and we can get them set up to where they will have a good job to provide for their family. You know, with Northeast State uh, Community College, we provide a great education. I would love it for, if we could help build more housing resources out there to bring in air, to bring in families so where they can go to, to Northeast State and then go to Eastman and have a good education and then retain the talent that we have in this area. We need to make sure that we're retaining our citizens, we're attracting new jobs, and we're growing our area. We need to make sure that our utilities and services are up to date. We don't need to be lacking in our maintenance of our schools or our jails because that's what gets us into trouble. You know, we just need to make this area great. We have great citizens, great schools, and a wonderful life for our citizens. You know, we just need to keep going and keep progressing and keep moving forward. And that's why I would love it if you would vote for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. George. And thank you to all of you who have come tonight and answered questions. Uh, we know that uh, none of us would like to have sat in the seat of having to answer those questions, let alone be told to do it in a minute. Uh, so uh, it is a very challenging one, and you both, uh, you all should be applauded for it. Also, I want to say to all of you, I think uh, that everyone here must recognize the courage that it takes to stand up and put your name on the ballot. Uh, for some of you, it's not your first time. For some of it, it is. And I think it is absolutely worthy of applause that uh, you would stand up to serve the public in this committee this way. So thank you very much. Uh, we're going to have, we, you know, respectful of the fact it's a school night, right? And so uh, the purpose of this was to get you out the door pretty early, and I think we have succeeded. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the candidates.